Power Mill 2018 can now safely collision check your turning tool holders the same as if you were to verify a milling toolpath. Let's start by simulating my grooving toolpath. We will begin by activating the toolpath in the normal way. Once done, we can select our toolpath we wish to simulate. Then ensure collision checking is turned on and open the form Simulation Issues for if there is a problem within the toolpath. Tick the box to let us verify against the tool holder. Fill in my required clearances and simulate my toolpath. As you can see, we have quite a few issues. Simply by clicking on any of these power mill will put the tool holder in the position where the issues occurred and we can take a closer look. Taking a closer look, we can see that the issue is that the tool holder doesn't have enough clearance behind the tip to machine this part without causing us an issue. Luckily, we have a modified tool holder in our carousel. So in this simulation issue form, we can select clear and close the form. Activate our other tool holder, which as you can now see has more of a clearance angle at the back of the tool holder. Open up the settings of the toolpath, recycle our toolpath settings and go to the tool form. Change the tool we are using and calculate the toolpath once again and close the form. So now if we navigate back to the simulation tab, ensure we have collision checking turned on and open the simulation issues form. Clear any previous issues that may be in the form and simulate the toolpath. We can now see that we have fixed the problem. And these are the enhancements we have made in PowerMill 2018 for collision checking turning tool holders.